guys what's up chance here and for today's video quite had quite a few problems with my headlights and so i just decided might as well drive down to austin and get matt to look at it and so he's going to rebuild them to tomorrow and i'm going to stay at his place and video the whole thing so y'all get to see what kind of what goes into building headlights also i would just like to say that i had to wait till i got off work to make this drive and so it is already 4 22 and I still have six hours left to go. So I didn't vlog anything yesterday because I got here super late and the long drives make me tired. But first we're gonna start with, uh, I'm gonna get the bumper off so Matt has easier access and he can continue working on some of the stuff he has. And then I'll show you around a little bit of some of the stuff he's working on. And then we'll get to fixing my headlights. <laughs> Room. Shelby. Mount these into the housing and then uh, go make sure the rotation's good on them. That was the one thing about your lights, because I didn't have them here, I couldn't test the rotation. Mm. But one would assume if you put a bracket on and it f***ing lined up, all the holes would be exact same. Yeah. That it'd be the same as f***ing whenever it uh, had the cheap projectors. And to give you an idea, so this is very similar to the projector that was mm. in your light right here. Just a cheap f***ing garbage projector. Yeah. And then here, you have it. But you'll see, you've got the solenoid for the bi-xenon mm. in there as well. I mean, if you just look at it, it's a better constructed projector anyway. So. Yeah. And then another reason, so you can see that's a three inch lens. This is a two and a half. That's another reason why your lens is a little different. Yeah, it looks more, more clear, more focused. Yeah. Just testing the solenoid, which I do that with every one of them. That's why I know like your highs and lows work. The quality that we put out in comparison to other people whether it's the actual build quality or customer service, um, nobody else has been able to match that in the Mustang and Lightning scene. We've lost money on builds. We've lost money on a few builds because we've messed up, I've messed up in the build, and then just, you know, whatever we can do to make it right. We've got a customer right now that has a 2015 F-150 um, LED headlights. Wasn't too happy with my paint job on them, um, I'm not a painter by any means, I'm not a taper, but I you know, you know, what can we do? We'll repaint them. I can comfortably say that nobody else that's been in the business for less than a year has over 135 star reviews on Facebook. Um, that's something we pride ourselves in and customer service is number one. So I remember in high school, <laughs> I was just like, I was all into the idea of modding a car, but I didn't really like all the work that went into it. Cause I was no normal lazy high schooler. Mm -hmm. And I remember, I don't remember where I first saw him, but I saw like, it was when the Oracle halos were big. Yeah. Stay, and, stay away from Oracle. Yeah. Everybody, everybody stay away from Oracle. <laughs> and, uh, but I ordered some of the Oracle halos for my Nissan Maxima that I had. And I had no idea what goes into opening headlights and we had dial up so I couldn't just Google it at the time. And so I spent like eight hours trying to, I, cause I thought you just like sat there and pried them basically until yeah. the glue came off. And ended up like cracking them three different times and gave up. 
and just send them back. That's why uh, you pay people like me who have awesome patience when it comes to stuff like this <laughs> to do it. I don't have patience, guys. Butyl sealant on here. Let it go back through the oven, spread it out nice and even. It's the key to a good seal is making sure you've got plenty of butyl in the channel. It's been cleaned out nice. Otherwise, condensation will happen. And then we'll get phone calls complaining about condensation at 10.30 at night on a Sunday. We like those. I was one of those. What is that? Oh, yeah. How do you guys expect this thing to work? Come on. It's <laughs> a headlight plug. I don't get that. More, okay. You guys are fired. <laughs> this is how it should look. You see the difference? Well, I'm saying mm -hmm. whoever cut all that. I can comfortably say I think I know where all of your problems are, and it's in the <laughs> wiring. Okay, we've got the headlights out, and so now that he's checked everything, he thinks before he goes and fully rebuilds them, he's going to check our check the wiring because, like I said in the first video, our wiring sucks, and we are by no means wiring experts, and so he's going to check it out and see if before he breaks everything apart, if he can get it working like it was supposed to and like it should. Okay. Yeah. We took a break from working on my lights and here we watch as the wild Matt Meredith takes pictures in his photo studio. It gets, it gets the job done. And by the time you get done editing them, nobody will know the difference. Right now we're just testing the demon eyes and these 2013 to 2014 F-150 projector headlights. We added some RGB demon eyes, and then we also added the diode dynamics switchback C bars. And then we did a custom two-tone paint job using tuxedo black and a silver metallic. And then we also added a pair of clears, lightly tinted side reflectors. And here you can see they look really killer lit up. All right, today on Cooking with Matt. What we're, uh, gonna do, we're, gonna, we're gonna add some halos to them. We're gonna add a switchback halo to the face right there to give them a nice running light. We're also gonna adjust the projectors. The custom brackets that were made to upgrade the bi-xenon projector have a slight alignment issue. So to fix that, we're gonna have to do some shimming of the brackets and get it all taken care of. But once we're done, chance we'll have them a nice even cutoff and the lights will look super killer installed and we'll be good to go. Ideally, you pre-drill drill all of your holes. That way, you're not gonna have holes that'll show colors and whatnot. But because we're adding these after the fact, it's not really a choice that we have. So, if we have to touch it up, we'll touch it up, but we should be good. Shelby, go lay down. Voila. Go me now. Okay, so we were having some trouble again, like I had from the beginning, my driver's side bright light wasn't working. And so it, Matt got everything fixed back together, wired up, and then as he was testing the bright light, he noticed it still wasn't working. And so seeing as he accepts nothing than top-notch quality, he took it all back apart just to fix the prong that was bent 
and get my bright lights working. So right now we're just disassembling the entire projector so we can swap high beam solenoid. You can see, you can't really see it in there, but broke prong just so happened to have an extra one laying around. So you can see how it works. Two wires are gonna plug into that, just like so. Low beam, high beam. And let there be a high beam on both sides. So, made custom brackets to swap in the Bi-Xenon projector. Had alignment issues, the brackets were in there perfectly straight, so we thought they weren't straight. So we notched the custom brackets, you can see the brackets right there. You've got the custom bracket right there, the bracket that the actual housing comes with right here. Once we notched it, give and take two, I think we took them on and off three times before we finally got to this point. Took them off, was at a loss, took a break for a couple seconds, broke out the fat max, a little bit of pressure right there, and all that was needed to rotate it where it needed to be. All right guys, that's it. and. It started raining, so I couldn't vlog as much because I didn't. The camera's not weather sealed, and so I had to leave some stuff out. But basically, what happened was he got the lights adjusted where he wanted them. I think that was all that was left was just getting them adjusted and making sure they level all the way across. And uh, he's happy with them. I'm happy with them, and so we're gonna go shoot tomorrow and somewhere in Austin find a good spot I'm not sure if I'll include it in this video yet but I'll definitely let y'all know and have a good day